Good day. Welcome to our second quarter. In this learning season, we are going to talk about topics under physics. Our first module is entitled as different forms of electromagnetic waves. This is the list of names of the development team that make this module. Remember that we can use the modules for our study, but we are not allowed to reproduce them without permission. It is against the law. Electromagnetic wave or EM wave or electromagnetic radiation is a wave that is created as a result of vibrations between an electric field and magnetic field, hence known as electromagnetic wave. To understand how electromagnetic wave is created, let us recall Ersted and Faraday's experiment and discoveries. According to Ersted's discovery, a changing electric field produces magnetic field. Ersted discovery happened in 1820s. He observed that a current carrying wire can deflect a magnetic compass needle. This figure is similar to what Ersted did in his time. When the switch is turned on, the electricity flows along the wire. The current deflects the magnetic compass placed above the wire. Ersted experiment shows electric current produces magnetic field. The animation shows that changing electric field produces magnetic field. As current is present on the wire the magnetic needle deflects. Greater electric current produces stronger magnetic field. IN electromagnetism, Ersted's law, also spelled Ersted's law, is the physical law stating that an electric current creates a magnetic field. Ersted's discovery was the first connection found between electricity and magnetism. Another experiment happened few years after Ersted. Michael Faraday conducted an experiment in 1831. He discovered that changing magnetic field is necessary to induce current. In his experiment, Faraday made a coil by wrapping a paper cylinder with wire. This experiment proved his hypothesis that changing magnetic field will produce electric field. This simple experiment is the basis of generators, alternators, transformers, tape recording, and computer memory. The animation shows that field produces electric current. As the bar magnet is moved in and out the coil, the needle of the galvanometer is deflected manifesting the presence of electric field. As you move the magnet in the opposite direction, the needle of the galvanometer changes its direction as well. No electric current is produced when the bar magnet is at stationary. The contribution of these two great scientists will make us understand electromagnetic wave easier as we tackle this topic deeper in our future lessons. Electromagnetic wave or electromagnetic radiation is a wave that is created as a result of vibrations between an electric field and magnetic field, hence known as electromagnetic wave. A wave carries energy as it propagates, thus, electromagnetic wave also carries energy as it propagates. EM waves can travel through anything even on vacuum, meaning they do not need any medium to travel. They travel in a vacuum at a speed of 300 million meter per second. There are seven different types of EM waves. They are arranged in a gradual progression from the waves of lowest frequency to highest frequency. This arrangement of M waves is called electromagnetic spectrum. In order of increasing frequency, the M spectrum includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma ray. Electromagnetic wavelength is the distance between crest to crest or trough to trough. Crest is the highest surface part of a wave and trough is the lowest part. EM waves are bounded at different ranges. Meaning each type of EM waves has upper and lower limits on the spectrum. This figure shows the frequencies of different electromagnetic wave. EM waves with longer wavelength has lower frequency. Otherwise, if the EM wave has shorter wavelength, it has higher frequency. Frequency describes the number of waves that pass a fixed place in a given amount of time. In the figure, in a given fixed place and time, more waves with shorter wavelength pass than waves with longer wavelength. 
The energy carried by the EM wave is proportional to its frequency. It means that EM wave with higher frequency has higher energy and EM wave with lower frequency has lower energy. The figure shows that radio wave has the longest wavelength, the lowest frequency and the lowest energy. Gamma ray, on the other hand, has the shortest wavelength, the highest frequency and the highest energy. The figure also shows the relationship of wavelength frequency and energy present in the electromagnetic spectrum. Some examples of these relationships are Ultraviolet has higher energy than microwave Infrared has longer wavelength than X-ray Ultraviolet has higher frequency than visible light Congratulations! This is the end of Module 1 of this quarter. Oops! Our class is over. See you next time. Take care.